Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tia at B5 Designs and I'm on to share. Um, it's really basically, uh, well, it's an online haul and then if I have time, I'll do just a couple things I picked up at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I got, I went like sticker crazy at Hobby Lobby. But first of all, from Scrap Diva, Erica at Scrap Diva, designs I got the um, flower die and I was hoping that I would have already been able to start making flowers um, with this I'm so excited I got the glitter foam and the plain foam so I'm super excited to start making all kinds of flowers with this but I did not get to that we um, like I had planned to last week was a monster week at work and um, just really tired this week the weather's really nice and I'm energized so I'm here after work doing a video after I went to Walmart and picked up a few groceries and then I stopped at Hobby Lobby so I'm feeling really really energized so I'm hoping that I will get into this craft room to do some more stuff this week I still have I'm still working on getting things put away and then once I get everything kind of put where I want it, then I'll slowly start going into organization mode. Like, and what I mean by that is like, um, I have, well, like I bought these things for my stamps because my die, I had two that I thought that are really pretty that I had gotten for stamps and dies, but I've kind of got a lot of dies so I needed to get something different for my stamps so I had picked these up for three bucks at um what's that place Michael's but I think I'm going to have to do like a I don't know if you can see that how the bottom is so what I'm finding out is stuff is easily you know kind of slipping through here so I, I think I'm going to do is just put a heavy piece of cardstock maybe I'll you know cover it with paper or whatever not cardstock but like what's that stuff called uh, I'm going to say chipboard. I think it's chipboard. Um, along here on the inside. And that should work good. So, But, you know, I've been in and out of here cleaning um, and really just putting things away um, and organizing. You saw the over the weekend in my last haul that I bought um, some more some different storage for my beads because I'm going through all my beads and purging while I got distracted and started, you know, separating that stuff. And that's not really what I wanted to right now. I just want to get things put up, but I'm, you know, at my craft desk. So that's a start. The other half of my craft desk is a mess. Well, it's not too bad actually, but, um, again, I just have things kind of stacked and I need to get them, you know, put away. I, I have my, laptop desk thingy or whatever I don't even know what it's called up here but I got to get my outlet strip moved blah 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 okay so enough of the chit chat see I get talking and then I won't be able to um, get everything in the video Simon says stamp had a sale or a special I don't know this is the first time I've ever ordered from them but um, if you bought the tape runner then you got the refill pack for free. So I did that in, um, because I use a lot of uh, runner, tape runner. And that's my, actually double-sided tape is my go-to. But depending on what I'm making, I will do um, the, the tape runner. Um, and I do a little bit of liquid glue. Um, so then... Um, they had a special where you got the Positively Everything tool, and I wanted to get that because I think this will be um, absolutely wonderful for, um, you know, wiping off your brushes when you're doing, you know, what I'm saying, um, when you're doing mixed media or watercolor, whatever. And it's cute, and it's in my color, and it was free. And I wanted this paper pad, so I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get this paper pad. And um, I love the the florals that you can see. It kind of resembles the um, one paper pad that I found um, 
at Michael's, I think last week. And so this will be really cute for um, anything, really spring projects or cards. Um, so yeah, and it's, you get, it's flower on one side and then, um, it is single sided and then, um, but you get stripes of every color. So I liked that. Love this yellow. So I'm excited to have that. And then if you don't know, I guess, um, when you order besides the different little goodies that, um, Simon says stamp has, off and on the little specials that they have you always get a five dollar off coupon on your next order and it is shareable um, so if you want to place an order it is code is tweet 42 so there is that and whoops sorry bumped the um, camera so much easier to film when I have my recording or my, I don't know what it's called, set up. And then, um, what's the other one? Scrapbook.com. They had, well, this was my freebie. It is the uh, Pink Fresh Studio Gold, I don't know, flatbacks. Super cute. What I really like is that it comes in this use, reusable bag. So that was cool. But um, I wanted the Fernwood stencils um, by Vicki Booten. And you can kind of see the three that you get. This is so pretty. I think it's the packaging is what is really the selling point. Um, but um, I'm just so happy to finally get in my craft room and be able to do things. I love this. This would be so pretty. Um, so yeah, I got that and then I got Sweet Rush and again, this is Vicky, Vicky Booten and again, how they have it packaged. I can just see like a watercolor stenciling in the background, just like what they did on a card. Um, and then a little bit of texture on top. So there's that, that reminds me of buttons. And then this one, I don't have a lot of stencils, but I think I have more than I thought I did. And this one, this is for, it's rainbows, but it's the Simple Stories Boho Baby. And I just thought it was so sweet. And then you can do it for a boy or a girl. And of course, everybody knows that um, I have a grandson who's getting a baby brother in September. And 10 days before that, so he's due at the end of September. But 10 days before that, my son and daughter-in-law are having their, my other son and daughter-in-law are having their first baby and it's a girl. So I'm going to be a girl grandma. So I'm a girl, no, I'm a boy grandma and I'm going to be a girl grandma. I'm so excited. I love babies. I, I have so much fun with my grandson though. And then I, I don't even know why I really, I got this. But I thought I needed it. And it's thicker stories of us. And oh, I know. I was thinking that this would be cute for albums for, uh, or an album for my husband and I. And so I got that. I'm so excited about all of this stuff. But fortunately, I'm sitting here going, man, I got to eat supper. And it's getting close to my bedtime. But I'm excited to do a video so this one um okay this is from cheap scrapbook stuff dot com or cheap scrapbook stuff i don't know i i don't even know you guys um i i don't even know how i stumbled across this site i've never i don't think ordered from them before but I got this um, Chow Bella, it's called, or I guess this is the company that it's from, and it's called Made With Love, and it's a stencil. How cool is this going to be on baby pages? And look, uh, it says, I love dad, made with love. Um, I love mom. This is going to be so fun. And the little giraffes this is this is my downfall is the little 
baby animal. Oh, the panda. Look at you guys. It's so cute. I love it. So, again, more stencils. If you could see me rolling my eyes at myself, you, you'd get it. And then I got this. And this is, again, Chow Bella stamping art. And I thought this would be kind of cool. I don't know how the girls are going to do, um, I don't know. I guess I'll have to ask uh, my grandson's mom. Because I don't think they do traditional baby books like we did back when I had my kids. Um, but this would be just kind of fun for like the day of their birth because they do have pictures um, of my grandson, you know, when he was born. And I just thought this would be so cute because I know she keeps track of this stuff. Um, but I'm not, and I know my other daughter-in-law will too, but I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to do this, but I thought it was so cute. And so this will be interesting. Plus, I still, you guys, I could scrap my five boys, their weddings, their honeymoons, and my grandchildren, and my husband and I, and that is it. And I would be busy for the rest of my life. Okay, this video is getting a little long. So, um, cause I'm gonna make a baby bump album is what we call it, where they, you know, the girls take pictures every week or every month of their tummies. And so I saw this bump to baby bun in the oven, bra off, hair up, belly out. Oh my God, that's funny. Rocking my bump. I thought that was cute. Expecting. Then there were, and coming soon, uh, best oops ever. I don't like that because my grandchildren are not oopsies for sure. And this one says we're pregnant. Don't really care for this one, but that's just me. And you're going to be a grandpa preparing to pop. <laughs> Some of this stuff I don't even like. You're going to be a grandma. Yeah, I know. So does everybody else. This is funny. Um, just the cravings because I know my daughter-in-law with her first pregnancy, my one that's pregnant with her first child, she's, I always ask her, how are you doing? She always tells me what she's craving. I've been craving citrus, orange juice. And then it was, I think before it was Cheez-Its. But anyway, uh, this video is a little bit long, so I'm going to come back with my Hobby Lobby ridiculousness. And I will see you in my next video.